I'm here with the director and cast members of the new documentary narrative film, There Is Many Like Us. This is based on a true story of love and survival, and we want to find out more about what it took to put this film together. There Is Many Like Us is the true life story of director Josh Weber's grandparents, Max and Rena. The film is a documentary narrative reenacting their experiences in a Holocaust concentration camp during World War II and how the couple found each other, lost each other, and finally reunited after 30 years. Growing up, Weber was only partially aware of their story. He uncovered the full details while interviewing his grandfather about escaping from the concentration camp. And I was sitting at the kitchen table with him, and my grandmother was cooking, and, uh, and I was asking him some preliminary interview questions. He said, something, something. And then my grandmother turned to me and she said, oh yeah, that's when I found out he was still alive. And I looked at her and I said, that's when you found out he was still alive. And I was only always under the impression that they had met in Toronto in the 80s, you know, and that she was Canadian. And, and I said, I said, no, 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 I, you, you're confused. I, I'm talking 1945 Poland. And she said, Joshua, where do you think I met Max? I met Max in the prison in 1942 in Paviak prison. That's where we met. And I said, whoa, 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 hold the phone. This is where you two met originally. He helped you survive. You lost each other. You found each other again. Then 30 years later, you found each other again and you're still together today. That's when I realized, wow, I am sitting on an incredible story and the time to make it is now, not 15 years from now. You know, it needs to be solidified. I was just totally shocked that I had grown up with these people as my grandparents, but never knew the true story behind them. And, and I actually think nobody in my family truly knew their, their story because to them, they don't see it as a big deal. They've lived through such atrocities and they witnessed such miserable, miserable things in their lifetime that they, they, don't, they don't see their story as, as so incredible. But when I, when I heard it, I just, I just knew, I said, wow, this is, this is the story, the love story. It, a, a, you know, a great escape story has been done and it's been done time and time again, especially in regards to the Holocaust. But I don't believe that there has been a true escape love story that came out of the Holocaust since this one, that's as powerful and uh, as, as heartfelt. It's, it's almost completely unbelievable. In the next story, we'll talk to the cast members to learn more about what it took to recreate this amazing story. Chris Kalora reporting.